Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for all the latest in celebrity news and drama. Today, we've got a serious story coming straight from Detroit's own Cash Doll, who recently shared a terrifying experience with her fans. Imagine this, robbers breaking into your home, a shootout, and on top of that, dealing with a neighbor falsely accusing you of running a drug house. It's been a rough week for Cash Doll, and we're here to break it all down. Cash Doll took to Instagram this Saturday morning to reveal that her Atlanta home was targeted by a group of robbers. Their goal? Her coveted collection of Birkin bags. But things took a dangerous turn when her child's father, Tracy T, confronted the intruders. This confrontation escalated into a shootout. Thankfully, Tracy T was unharmed, and the police were able to arrest all the suspects involved. This incident could have ended much worse, but Cash Doll is left dealing with the aftermath. As if the break-in wasn't enough, Cash Doll is also battling accusations from a neighbor, Ronnie Mayer. Mayer, who lives in Ashford Park and has been nicknamed the Mayor of Brookhaven, falsely reported to the police that Cash Doll's home was linked to drug dealing. Instagram. So today, I'm about to put y'all in my business. I normally don't put the internet on my business because I just feel like, you know, you share certain things and you keep certain things to yourself, right? But I've been violated bad since I've been in Detroit. I guess people was looking at my story and they see that I'm not home. And they found that this was the best opportunity to run inside of my house and get all my Birkin bags in Atlanta. However, that's cool. They got caught, you know, they got into a shootout with my child's father and the police got all of them got all of them and we ain't took no L you know so it's a celebration but it's also sad that it's black people that's just running inside of people home trying to take their things and what if my kids was there what if my sister was there what if my mom was there what if what if Tracy was there asleep and y'all caught him slipping they came in with guns I'm putting y'all in my business today because I'm so upset that Ronnie Mayers the, the, the community uh, leader and over in Brookhaven and the block that I stay in because you guys I stay in a nice neighborhood you know where it's I'm the only black person on my block and the youngest person on my block you know um and this man had the audacity to go to the news Ronnie Mayers he went to the news and told them that my house is a drug house because it's traffic and a lot of black people there because it's always traffic. He just assumed that since it's nice cars and other black, nice, successful people pulling up that's entertainers, that's friends, producers, that have nice things as well, and it's a lot of traffic because I have two kids under two, that I have drugs in my home. The sacrifices I make, how hard I work, everything that I do for you to just associate with me with drugs just because I'm young, black, and successful. That's crazy that you went to the internet and, t no, you went to the news, my nigga, and told the news that I'm, me, and my child father is running a drug house. <laughs> Cash Doll was furious, calling out Mayor for making assumptions based on her being one of the youngest and only black residents in the neighborhood. She's not holding back. She's letting everyone know exactly why she's successful and why she lives in the biggest house on the block. This isn't the first time Cash Doll has faced trouble in her own home. Just last year, she shared that a guest stole some of her belongings, including an expensive purse and Hermes slides. It's clear that she's had to deal with a lot, both from outside threats and those closer to home. Cash Doll's message is strong. She's fed up with the disrespect and is taking a stand. It's been a tough time for Cash Doll, but she's not backing down. She's using her platform to set the record straight and call out those who wronged her. Let's keep her in our thoughts as she navigates through these challenges. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Re-Up. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. We'll see you in the next video.